We have another sickness. I don't know again about Kano, but I know about other places in the world. Child is born, they promise the brother or the sister. When the child grows, this child will marry your child. Brother, who are you to say that? Who are you to say that? You can say, you are my sister. It is very, very good if perhaps our kids might marry each other. Let's see when they grow older. That's the maximum you could do. But you cannot already say from the beginning, right, these two are together. And then that man, when he gets up, he could be a drunkard. He could be someone who is a womanizer. He could be filled with sickness. What type of sickness? Spiritual disease, no salah, no ibadah. But because I made the promise, that's it. There are some beautiful suitors who have come through. But you will say, no, I have promised the child. What are you talking about? You are promoting adultery and zina because those children will never be satisfied with that type of a man or a woman. I'm not saying it's not our dream to get our daughters, and I have eight of them, mashallah. I'm not saying it's not our dream to get our daughters to, you know, marry people perhaps we think of in our minds. No. We all can have a dream, but you adjust your dream as time pass. You must adjust to reality. It's no harm to say, look, I wanted my daughter to marry your son, but I don't think it's practical anymore. Subhanallah. That's a real man. That's a real father. We need this guidance and guidelines because there is nobody guiding our men and sometimes our women.